Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with another ClickFunnels quick tip. And what I want to show you today is what you're looking at on the screen here, which is something that just came into my account this morning. It's April 17th of 2024 and it's the new sidebar where you can use it to put in your sections rows elements saved sections universal sections and blocks in general and you can access it two different ways. you can click on my assets and it'll slide out just like this or you can click here on add a new section it would work for add a new row or element as well and we have all kinds of pre-built sections in here as you can see as we can slide down there's just tons and tons and tons of pre-built and of course you can just uh, uh, click on the little headers over here in the sidebar and find the ones you're looking for you have the blank ones up here at the top for your blank section and also your blank uh, flex container and you also have all of your saved sections in here so you got your saved blocks or sections right there and then if you scroll down here a bit, we're going to get to the universal blocks or in this case sections down here because we open this up just purely as a section. So let's go back to our blank and we'll scroll back up to the top here and we will click on blank section. Now you have your choice as before of anywhere between one and six column row. And then you can also put in again a flex container in here. So let's just say we're going to put in a two column row. And then the sidebar slides over a little bit. Now, here's one thing that's interesting. When I first looked at this, I was like, okay, I don't understand what this is. And where is the ability to add a section as an element? Well, that's exactly what this is up here at the top, the ability to add a section as an element. So let me, let me redo this here. Let's take out this row. Let's take that out and let's put in a, uh, a new row right here. And let's just make this a one column row. And now what we want to do is we want to add a section in as an element. And inside that section, we want a two-column row. So we're going to do that right here. So that's what I just did. Now, in order to see this, let's, uh, let's do a couple things here. Let's just put a border around that row. And now we're going to come outside of that row and see here's a new section right there. And let's just put a border around that section. And then we come out of this section and we go back into that row the single column row that we originally created and we'll put a border around that and then of course around that in there is also then the section that we put in originally so we actually now have four different layers plus now we can put some elements inside of here now you're saying to yourself why would you need four different layers like that well sometimes you want to be able to put in different coloring you want to be able to put in different borders different shadows things like that to be able to really set something out so it's a great feature inside of click funnels that you're able to actually put sections inside of columns where an element would normally be so that's how you access it in there and then let's uh, go back in here to our elements so again we already can't covered this and then we got our content sections media forms etc 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 and then we're going to come down here to and let's just scroll down a little bit so you can just see all of them so it's got all of the elements we had before i don't know if there's any that were added there may have been some added but a couple of interesting things in here we're going to see collections right here so when i first came in here i came down here to advanced and down in the advanced area you see you got your flex container down here so at every level you can also put in a flex container and so then we got our stuff for our blogs, our blog categories, our posts, that's all down here. We got our download title, link, and image. That actually is new. I don't recall seeing that before, so I'm thinking it's new. Then we got courses in here. So you got your course level right here. You have your module levels, and then you have your lesson levels. And then, of course, you also have products and product collections and store down here as well. So when I first started looking at the courses and the lessons, I'm like going, where are the collections? And then I saw collections right here. So they uh, had taken out of the courses, modules, and lessons, the collections, and put them up here. So here they are right up there. I don't know why they have the product collections down here at the bottom when they have the other collections up at the top. But again, I'm sure they have some reasoning on why they broke it out that way. But again, it's very easy to find. If you want your countdown timers, boom, you click there. You want your navigation elements, boom, there you are. Your progress bars, your whole thing like that. The progress bar, again, would be associated to a course. So again, 
In my mind, it could be down in the courses, but it works just fine right here because you got this great navigation along the left-hand side. And then here at the top, we have our saved elements. I would guess there's also one for saved rows. So any saved elements you have, those would be in here as well, just like they were for the sections. So any of the elements you have, and I would guess if we get down here somewhere far enough, we'll also be able to find universal sections. Uh, but again, okay, wait, it said right there, my universal, uh, universal section... Um, I don't know. They're probably in here somewhere. Um, of course, I may not have ever made any universal elements. And now that I think about it, maybe you can't even make a universal element. I'm not. Oh, wait, here it is. Right there is the universal blocks. I went right past it because I had so many and only one saved block. So, yes, you can make universal elements, rows, and sections inside of ClickFunnels, as well as saving elements, rows, and sections in your workspace so that then you can take them and put them into other funnels or courses or anything else you want. So that is it. Just wanted to give you a quick rundown on what I found live in my account today, which is the new and greatly improved sidebar inside of the editor. So if you've got any questions, just let me know.